Good morning. Welcome to Akilah Chari Torah's uh, Halacha Review, uh, Tuesday, June 2nd. We started yesterday speaking about the idea of Mechitza, where it comes from, and so on. Uh, so the first source we have for Mechitza, according to Rabbi Lebowitz, we're looking at Rabbi Lebowitz's book, Halachically Speaking. Uh, he says the, he explains the Gemara in Sukkah, page 51b of Sukkah. When we uh, learn that, we'll see that during Simcha's Beis HaShoeva, that was the uh, singing, dancing, music, uh, rejoicing that went on uh, during Sukkot's time. So from after the first day of Sukkot, uh, there was a whole ceremony the Gemara uh, relates called Simchas Beis HaShoeva, the festival of water drawing, uh, because there was water that was offered on the Mizbeach, on the altar in the temple in those days, as part of the uh, Sukkot uh, op- offerings. And drawing the water, bringing it up from uh, the wells in uh, Shiloach used to be uh, a big part of the uh, ceremony. So it would be drawn with great joy. Remember the, the verse that we sing often, Ha'ushavta Mayim B'Sason, you should dwell water, you should draw water, rather, sorry, uh, from the wells of salvation, do it in joy. Uh, so uh, they would do this with singing, with dancing, with uh, musical instruments, very exciting uh, time, and it says that someone who never saw Simchas Beis HaShoeva, someone who never witnessed the joy of rejoicing that took place in the temple in Jerusalem during uh, Chol HaMoed Sukkot, uh, during this uh, festival of drawing the water, uh, such a person cannot be said to have seen Simcha in their lifetime. So during Simchas Beis HaShoeva, when there was a lot of festivity and so on, the Gemara explains that men and women were seated on two separate floors. There was a balcony that was built on the sides of the men's section in the temple and was enclosed with a curtain, or uh, Meiri suggests it could have been a one-way mirror. Uh, this permitted the women to watch the uh, men uh, dancing and uh, playing instruments from above, but it completely blocked the men's view of the women. Uh, the Gemara says uh, there also that there were a number of other takanos, another of other uh, remedies uh, that were uh, attempted at the time, and the balcony was installed when uh, all the other uh, efforts to uh, preserve the uh, proper decorum uh, in the temple uh, proved to be insufficient. Uh, the uh, Gemara brings, uh, has a whole discussion about uh, uh, past, present, and future there, and it says that uh, it certainly required at a joyous occasion, uh, and the last thing he says in this paragraph is the opinion that a mechitza in a, in a shul, in a synagogue, a uh, shul sanctuary, is minha Torah. This is a Torah commandment in the opinion of, uh, of Rav Moshe Feinstein, Igros Moshe, uh, Volume 1, uh, Responsum 39, which could, I'm not 100% sure, could be the one that's mentioned uh, in the Sefer, the collection that we mentioned yesterday, The Sanctity of the Synagogue, uh, compiled by Rabbi Litvin. Uh, so we'll talk about reasons tomorrow, and we'll go into a little bit more about uh, what's required uh, for that. Have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow.